All right, we're back. I have all the food in the world. And I also switched back to the real knife from the burnt pan, just because, I don't know, just to symbolize how completely psycho we are right now. My god, we beat our friend to death with a freaking frying pan. Jesus Christ. <sighs> ah, let's move forward and we'll see what's going on here. I'm scared. I mean, it's pretty bad already. How bad? How much more? How much more bad? How, how much worse can it get? I don't know. I have a really bad feeling about all of this. It's as comfortable as it looks. Huh, glad you're not in there, huh? I don't know why I suddenly feel like really uneasy about everything. <laughs> I mean, we already defeated the the toughest good guy out there, right? What what more could be worse? Asgore? Curious. I've never seen a plant cry before. What? Is is Flowey crying? Holy shit! Huh? You must be the one that Flower just warned me about. Ah, uh, how psycho are we that Flowey actually warned Asgore about us? Howdy! Um, what kind of monster are you? The most demonic kind. Sorry, I cannot tell. Well, we can- What? Now, now. There's no need to fight. Why not settle this over a nice cup of tea? What? I didn't even get to pick! Why? You... Oh! <gasps> what?! What the hell are you doing, Flowey? Ah, oh, I see how it is. I was waiting to kill him for you! After all, it's me, your best friend! I'm helpful, I can be useful to you! I promise I won't get in your way! I... I can't help! I can... I can... P please don't kill me. How psycho are we that the most despicable person we've met, aside from us, is begging us for mercy? You are messed up too. You just killed your dad just so there's a chance that you could be saved? Oh my god. What the fuck are you? Greetings. I am Wellens. Thank you. Your power awakened me from death. My human soul. My determination. They were not mine, but yours. At first, I was so confused. Our plan had failed, hadn't it? The one with Azriel? Why was I brought back to life? You. With your guidance, I realized the purpose of my reincarnation. Power. Together, we eradicated the enemy and became strong. HP, attack, defense, gold, execution points, level of violence. 
Every time a number increases, that feeling, that's me, Wellens. Now, now, we have reached the absolute. There is nothing left for us here. Let us erase this pointless world and move on to the next. Whoa! What? What the fuck is going on? How did... Oh my god, okay, wait, we walked into the castle, we saw Asgore, Flowey kills Asgore, we kill Flowey, or did Wellens kill Flowey? But for whatever reason, we can clearly hear Wellens inside our head now, before it was like a little voice nagging at the back of our mind. Now she's materialized in front of us, holy shit, um, oh, shit, oh, fuck. Erase the world or don't erase the world? Holy... Isn't it bad enough that we killed everybody? Why do you want to erase the entire world? Why are you so hateful? Oh my fucking god. It's a genocide run, right? So... Should I be erasing it because she's telling me to? Because that's what evil people do? Or is this the point where I try to justify everything I've done up until now and blame it all on Wellens and say that Frisk is completely innocent? I don't know! I don't know! I don't want to erase the world! Um, if we say don't erase the world, she'll kill us, right? But I'm like her body, she can't kill me. Oh my god, what the fuck do I do? I don't know, this is just so sudden. Okay, okay, you know what, um... Can, can I say that I've learned my lesson and I regret everything now? Is that- is this the part where I do that? I'm- I don't know, this is just- I'm trying to think of what consequences there can be for doing each one, but I just- I just don't know. Our friends are all dead anyway, I don't even care about this world anymore! It's just an empty shell! Leave it alone! Leave it alone! Leave it alone, okay? No? Hmm... How curious. You must have misunderstood. Oh my fucking god. Since when were you the one in control? Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Um... What? My game closed? Hello? Hello? There's nothing here! What? What is going on? Oh my god! That's it? This is what the genocide run is all about? Oh my god. Oh my god. See, I'm moving my mouse because you, you don't have anything else to look at on the screen anymore. Um... Shit! 
Th there's wind. There's like sounds of the wind in the background. Can we do? Wait, no, let me walk around. Can I? No, I can't do anything. Pressing Z, X, C. Can I escape? I can escape the game. Uh, usually I have to hold escape to close the game, but this time I just pressed it and it just... Jesus Christ. What? Is this really it? No, there must be something we can do. There must be something. There can't be nothing. No! No. Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P, A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, Z, X, Z, C, V, B, N, M, comma, period, slash, shift, enter, semicolon, open bracket, close bracket, minus plus, what? Oh my god. Is this it? What do I even do? I can't even... You can't end it off like that? What? The world is gone? That's it? I don't even get like a epilogue or anything? Is this what I've caused? By wanting to know more about Undertale? By doing all that shitty stuff that I did? Killing all my friends? Not just all my friends, and not just everyone we came across, but we actively went out to find monsters to kill. Actively caused the extinction of the entire underground. Well... I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I didn't expect like a happy epilogue or anything, but I thought it would at least like... You know, give me something at the end. It's not giving me anything. Well, I guess that's it for... Undertale? <laughs> I don't even know how to end this off. Like, this is really abrupt. I guess I'll give some of my thoughts. But I think I gave my main point that I wanted to share already, right after beating Sans, that humanity received a grim reminder <laughs> that appreciation and enjoyment are two different things. I, like I said already, appreciation has gone up, enjoyment has gone down. And as of the end of the Sans fight, my enjoyment level was like, but I would have to say that the, the process of getting mechanically better at the fight, like, I can't say that was something I didn't enjoy. Just like with Undyne, sucking at something and then slowly learning how to get better and then getting better to the point where we pass it. That process is kind of satisfying, so... Oh god, I sound like a monster. <laughs> It's like I don't even remember who my friend is anymore. Who is Sans? Who is Papyrus? Who is Undyne? Who are all those people? Every time I booted up this damn game while playing Genocide, I feel like I forget a little piece of the pacifist run. When I beat Undyne, I forget that awesome cooking lesson we had. When I kill Papyrus, I forgot about our A plus date in his house. When Alphys is too scared of me to even see me. I forget about how socially awkward she is and all the stupid annoying phone calls she gave me and that one stupid time where she told me to press those three buttons and then right after I pressed the second one and was about to press the third one, she called me so I couldn't press the third one which pissed me off so badly. But deep down, that was probably the most hilarious setup for the player to get pissed and I got so pissed that time. <laughs> Probably the most pissed I have been during my entire time with Undertale. So pissed, so pissed. But yes, I forget those things. Every time I do something bad, every time I kill somebody, even those little monsters that we came across, it was like, they weren't big, like they didn't have big roles or anything, but I killed all of them. And every time I kill one of them, it's like I slowly start to forget what their personalities are like and stuff. Oh, I don't know. I feel like shit. I don't know, man. 
This wind howling in the background is pissing me off too. Like you could destroy the entire world, but you couldn't destroy the wind? What is this? I kind of want to say that the people who told me to do a pacifist playthrough, but not a genocide run, all those people that said, please don't do it. On some level, you were, you were right. I should have listened to you. And on another level, I mean, it was unavoidable. It was unavoidable. In the way that even if I didn't play it myself, I there would be no way I could resist looking it up. And I think pretty much everyone who's listening to this right now is in the same boat, right? Because I find it very hard to believe that anyone who has experienced Undertale, whether you watched it or played it yourself, is uh, free of sin, so to say. Because if you experienced the pacifist run, and afterwards, look some stuff up, learn that there is a genocide path. I don't think it's possible that you would just be like, Oh, it's okay, I'm really happy with pacifists, I don't even want to know what happens in genocide. Because that's... no. <laughs> that's just not human. You can start the genocide run, and be completely horrified with killing your own mother, and all your friends, but I bet you still looked up what happens in the parts you didn't play yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Every single person, whether your opinion of genocide is that it's not worth it or you need to play it, uh, we've all committed that same mistake of having to do something because we can. And you know, no judgment here. None from me to you and hopefully none from you to me either. Everybody watching this is the same. That curiosity is why you're here. And it's very human. Humans are just like that. Uh, in the very beginning, I mentioned that when I started genocide, I said I thought Watching and playing stems from the same intent of wanting to know what happens, even if, even if it might be bad. So, although I think it's kind of messed up that I did all this horrible shit, in a way, I'm glad I got to experience it directly by playing it. And really, for me, it was completely inevitable. There's no way I wouldn't have looked it up. I mean, not to be immersion breaking, but... It is a video game, so... What? Wait, what the hell? Whoa, 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 why is there stuff here? Oh my god. Interesting. You want to go back. You want to go back. To the world. You destroyed. It was you who pushed everything to its edge. It was you who led the world to its destruction. But you cannot accept it. You think you are above consequences. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're so right. You hit the nail on the spot. Because I'm not a character in the underground. Because I'm a human. In the real world. I think that I don't get consequences. For doing things in a video game. Yeah, you're right. You're completely right. Exactly. Is that it? Perhaps. We can reach... A compromise. You still have something I want. Give it to me. And I will bring this world back. What, what do you want from me? What do I have that you want? Somehow I don't think it's any of my physical possessions. What wouldn't I give for the world I want back? Uh, just pretty much nothing. I would, I would give everything I own to you if it means that my friends could come back. Is it too late to say something like that? Because I've been a horrible mass murderer this whole time, so is it even okay for me to say something like that? Because it sounds fake as hell. But whatever you want, if I have it, you can have it. 
if you'll bring them back. Then it is agreed. You will give me <gasps> your soul. My soul? You mean the one constant? That one constant between the two very different timelines I went through in the underground? The one constant we had? Our soul? You want me to give it to you? This red heart right before us? That I'm flashing? This soul is a soul that could kill its own friends just to see what would happen. It's not a soul that's a good soul. If you want it, I guess you can have it. But you'll really bring back my friends, right? Right? Then, it is done. Okay? Oh! Whoa! Really? We're back at the beginning? That's it? Okay. I guess that's it. Wow. Well, yeah, like, just like earlier, no epilogue, no credit screen, nothing. Man, I don't really have anything else to say. I just feel like a piece of shit and... I want to cry myself to sleep. <laughs> that, that's pretty much all I want. I want to get out of here and forget about this, man. I can run away from my sins if I'm not on the computer, right? Wait, you know what? Let's actually just try to go into game and see if everything is the same first. Just to make sure. Well, ends. Yes! Well, everything appears to be the same. Should we go further? Hey, man. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! Hmm... You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! Okay, kill me, whatever. I just want to find out... Is everything still the same? Okay, kill me, kill me. Cool. Flowey? You don't remember anything? What? <laughs> Flowey, well... Flowey has the power to save and load too, right? But he doesn't seem to remember anything. Oh no, I don't want to see you. I don't want to see her again. Oh, I feel like shit already. This way. Uh, okay, so everything looks normal. I... I guess we're just granted a new chance to... To do everything again? Oh, well, we don't have a save file anymore. Yeah, I guess that's it then. Well, we're not gonna go any further then. But yeah, like, like I said, I don't have anything else to say, man. I feel like a piece of crap and I just wanna hide in a hole. I'm trying to stand in the middle here. It's making me mad. It's off-center. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, okay. <laughs> what else can I say? Um, thank you to everyone who gave me hints and tips in the comment section. I played through Undertale excruciatingly slowly. I think it took me like a month from beginning to end. And it's partly because I wanted to be able to use the comment section as a way to find out 
if I missed anything without having to look it up because that's spoiling myself and most of you guys are really good about that. You'll just say, oh, you should go back to this location and do this, but you won't say outright what it is, which I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I'm really going to keep rambling forever if you let me, so I better, I better get going. Thank you to everyone who tuned in to this genocide playthrough of Undertale. Uh, should I hope that you enjoyed it? If you enjoyed it, does that mean you're a horrible person? <laughs> well, I'll leave that for you to think about. I would love to know if you have any further thoughts on Undertale. I read pretty much everything in the comments section, so do feel free to let me know your thoughts. But with that said, I think we should call it a day, and not just a day, a game. This was Matter Wellens. Wellens. The one at the keyboard, okay? Not the not the psycho with the knife, okay? Just just making sure we're we're on the same page here. But yes, thank you so much, and I hope to see you all in another place in another time.